Hello everyone and welcome back to Pick and Play Hot Spend 4 with Cold War Mod. We are back in the United Kingdom and we are going to hold on to our empire. That's the point of this campaign. We are going to hold on to everything that is dear to us. Although we might have to miss a few things here and there. Like the Dominion of India is almost certainly going to break away pretty soon. They're going to draft a constitution. Rebuild the Britans. Marsha plan because that's six civilian factories. That's amazing for us. And then... Decisions available, decolonize the gulf. Yeah, nope, don't even give me that option. Because if I accidentally click it, I'm gonna be upset. I'm not decolonizing nothing, you got that? But there's promise of peace. I mean, that is something we would do, and it gives weekly stability. Our stability is not the best, it could be. I think we'll get out of that after 90 days, more than we had put in. It's not that much, 90 days is not that much political power, and we don't really need it for um, annexations yet anyway. So Vietnam is in the middle of their war. French protective of Laos has capitulated. Okay, that really extends their line now. They were holding out in Vin pretty well, but with Viet, with uh, Cambodia, Laos, that's got to go through all the nations. But that done, they could really have a problem. Not to mention Saigon is in the siege. That could be a real problem. Far East Fleet, what you got for me? You got light cruisers and destroyers. Hmm. Last episode, we did take care of Malaysia, although... Now, how did you fall under Malaysia again? I'm rather suspicious of that. And the, at the end of the peace deal, a French protector of Cambodia has fallen. At the end of the peace deal, I gave this land to myself. How did you get it? I mean, I just loaded the save, but I saved it past the point where I had given it to you. It's suspicious, but I'll go with it. It's rather weird. I can take two actions, one of them being search tutorial, the other being decolonization. Not for me, thank you. Demi uh, India, I'm assuming, yep. De Declare the public of India. And you're going for a military coup. So, found the Islamic Republic, military coup, establish a democracy. Hmm. Military coup. Uh, yeah, Islamic Republic of Pakistan becomes free. United States of America, Dominion of Pakistan leaves faction. Politics will change. Reactionary becomes the leading government. So we're going to lose both India and Pakistan, but that's to be pretty much expected. We weren't holding out hope that they would stick around with us for long. As for a lot of the other countries, most of them have generic trees. So they're not going to be able to leave via that. Formal annexation of West of Southwest Africa. Formal annexation versus give independence to Namibia. No, you want to go formal annexation? Hopefully, hopefully the devs have put enough forethought to allow me to uh, make either concessions or like say yes or no, depending on what's happening. But I doubt that they're going to put that in for every single possible event, possible permutation. But hopefully, what we really want is after the Suez Crisis, if we are victorious, then we get to go for regime change, get Egypt back, and then we'll be able to resist decolonization and retain our empire going into the 1960s. Which will be good for us. So, Saigon is pretty much all that remains. They got a large front here. Ooh, that's probably not a good hold there. Don't like saying that. I really do wonder what happened here, because it was definitely during the save that this got transferred over to them. I did not do this, nor can I do this, as uh, swapping territory outside of peace deals is not something that's actually in the game. So I do not know what happened there. Dutch East Indies took one state, and the Islamic Republic of Indonesia has been capitulated. Dutch East Indies stand triumphant. So, we got some more royal rule down here. Also, I just want to point out that uh, New Zealand is independent. They broke free before the beginning of the game, before 1949, so I cannot stop them. In other areas? What's up? Also, you still have that thing that's uh, modified the Lend-Lease. Get rid of that. Cancel. Yes. People that I want to annex. People that I want to annex. At the moment it would be South Cameroons, because they're the easiest to annex. But past that, I don't know. 
We have troops on the border against the Soviets there. You are way out of your league, and you're just a brigade too. You're just a small brigade with a little bit of anti-tank. You would not be able to hold out against... Hey, excusez-moi, what is this? Really? How... Okay. Okay. <laughs> For those of you just listening in, uh, yeah, that was, that was weird. Soviet Socialist Republic went blue for a second. The Soviets, they're going for the Republic of Turkey. Looks like Greece is about to finish off Gramos in Greek, in Greece. Republic of Turkey could be on the chopping block. Ismit Inonu has to freedom. Yeah, that could be a real problem there because they are not in NATO yet. When I was playing as the Soviets myself, I was able, they were able to live because I happened to go down that path past the point where it could actually be any, any use. They had already gone for it by then. They'd already joined NATO before I could declare war. And if I declared war, then I'd be at war with NATO and that would just be the end of the, well, not necessarily the end of it. It would just be a beginning of a very, very long and arduous war against them. Infantry support equipment. Everything's ahead of time at the moment. Don't need super heavies. Uh, hmm. Universal carry ult to the kangaroo, to the Saracen. Maybe a striker. Ooh, a striker. You look cool. I will eventually need to change out some of my unit templates, but we don't have a lot of army experience to do so. Geneva Accords. Yes, 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 yes. Interesting. So, it's the... Normal to Vietnam solution. I wonder if there would ever be a way, perhaps on the dev side of things, to allow for Vietnam, if so successful that they take over all of Indochina before the French can even really act, if they can just take it, they can just take all of it. Because that would be interesting. Like, oh, the Marshall Plan. DDR established. The Deutsch Demo. <laughs> Oh uh, boy, Demokratisch, Dem yeah, Deutsche Demokratische Republik, otherwise known as East Germany, is founded in the Soviet occupation zone Germany today. The establishment of the GDR seals the division of Germany that happened in 1945. West Germany has already gained independent, gained independent, literally under unplayable, from occupying powers earlier in the 1949. In th that's not on them. That was me. And the creation of East Germany meant the same as the formerly Soviet zone. Although the ruling Socialist Unity Party of Germany maintained close ties with the USSR and therefore seen as a satellite state. There goes for unification, buddy. Hey, buddy, hey, pal. Hmm. Now, we've done the Marshall Plan. We could go Cold War for political power and army experience. New infrastructure, the Blitz. World Bank Loan. Economic Rebirth. Civilian economy versus defense economy. Very hmm. Mm. Expand the big black. Oh, wrong BBC. Scottish economy. I love that it's English. I love that the Scottish economy is just like the slave with money over it. Scotland has long been overlooked by economic planners simply by disregarding it for a small industrial base. So things we can do. New infrastructure gets us to further expansion. Green belt. Stop the London expansion. Great ringways. Oh, there's a lot to build. Hmm. Oh, there's so much. Increased militarism. Oh, there's so much I want to do. Cloak and Dagger, M15. The cubes. Defend from Mama Bear. Decryption. Spy on the curtain. Improve spy techniques. While it is cool, decryption doesn't really do a whole lot. The Cold War could give us army experience and political power. Hmm. 50 days, ain't that bad. Do infrastructure versus Blitz. Blitz is more... They're both infrastructure. Which one do I want to pass that? Further expansion versus Green Belt. So basically, do I want stop it or don't? Infrastructure... Well, we don't... We just get political power this way and base stability versus more infrastructure. I could make it an island fortress, which is what I'm going to do. England will be the island fortress of the world. Everything else can go ahead and burn. Thank you. 
down here we got plenty of troops ready to fight, including some mechanized divisions, some motorized division, and uh, yeah, a I think that's a medium tank division, I'm not entirely sure. Go ahead and give them the Gorilla Fighter, because that gives better entrenchment speed. Yeah, I think that's good if we push, like, I don't know, maybe if they put troops in the Sinai. Or maybe, maybe. Over here, we're not going to be able to help out the Republic of China in any way. Not our problem. What's this? Oh yeah, the Free Territories of Trieste. I keep forgetting that thing existed. Federation Malay, you took my lands, but that's fine. Hey, the Trust Territory of Somalia. So, yeah, looks like they're not... You're currently held by the UN, but mostly by Italy. Hmm. What's unfortunate there is that Somaliland was controlled by me. However, I did not get any say over whether or not I left it, nor did I even get a notification about it. It just happened because that was a part of the Italian tree, and it couldn't stop me. I could not stop it from happening. Oman isn't a part of us, but they do at least, you know, let us go through their lands. But you should be a part of my land. The Trussell States. Qatar, you're under us. Kuwait is under us. Iraq, no. Iraq, you should be under me. Thank you very much. See, that's the idea. We're going to bring together all the lands that should be under us, which means everything. I also didn't get a notification about how we lost status with India and Pakistan. Oh, man, you got a weird face, buddy. See, it would, it would be nice if I could. It would, it would be very useful if I knew these things were happening around me. Because, like, Australia could be gone. I just wouldn't know. Yo, you're still Dominion. Good. Canada, you're still a Dominion. Maybe like a notification that they're doing, that they're, they're planning to do it, like how you can get a notification if a nation is taking a, a, a decision or something that gives them claims on you. End of the Greek Civil War. After three years and six months of fighting, almost 50,000 50, 50, dead and thousands missing, the Greek Civil War is over. This Civil War has left Greek Greece in ruins and the economy is hurting. Oh, don't worry, Greece, that'll never end. Now the reconstruction of a better, stronger Greece must follow. The killing and fighting has already ended. Interesting. I don't suppose you'd like to become a, a British subject, or would you, Greece? I wish I could just offer that to people. Like, hey, you want, you want to try some uh, British rule? Interventionism focus, a bit ironic there. France, you failed in your war. I succeeded. Franco's looking sad -o. Approachment. Re reproachment with America. I can speak English. You have an African famine crisis. Ha. Huh. You should have seen the famines I had in India. Oh, boy. Text over text. The Federal Republic of Germany has established the Pleven Plan. Today, the Republic... Now, for the Republic of Germany, establish a plan, plan for military cooperation. I can speak English, I swear. You, oh, so you have your normal German flag now. Good for you. Uh -huh. Konrad Auner. End of the Berlin airlift. Yay, my, my troops can eat again. Yay. I didn't even know it was happening. Yay. Peaceful resolution. Good boy, Stalin. Good boy. Uh, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming you must have some kind of defense. Soviet bloc, monthly population, uh, home of the revolution, ideology drift. There it is. Because I was thinking, what if I just like boosted popularity and then staged a coup? Could I stage a coup? What are those? The reactionaries? Can I stage a reactionary coup? Is that a thing I can do? It does not it seem to be. Christendom, in the name of God. I wonder. Hey, you, how, uh, oh, you're not that strong? Okay. Have you considered Christendom? Have you considered our Lord and Savior? The truth. 
How badly do I want today's vote? That's the real question. Judas. Imagine doing a game as Israel where you just spread Judaism across throughout the world. Pan-Arabism, Monarchism, Nationalism, Socialism, Maoism, Troxyism, Centrism, uh, Christian Democracies. Wait, most nations should have that like political ideology side. What about you? I guess I would have to see your political ideologies. Because I got mine. Diplomacy. Uh, what about details? I want no details. Nationalism is Haig. Russell Haig. Oswald Mosley. He's a fascist, more like a totalist to me. National Socialism. Hubert Dundas. Maoism. Jake Wallace Militant Tendency. Trotskyism. Ted Grant. A little bit of communism under Harry Pollitt. Liberals. Oh, nobody wants to be a liberal these days. Jeremy Stewart. Centrism. People party. People. Social liberalism. Christian Democrat. Why not? You go down. The um, uh, Muslim Brotherhood. Oswald. It'd be funny if that was Oswald Moldy. Islamic Dawa. What about the Fellowship Party? The Christendom. The Pro Zion. Great Britain. What if. A, <laughs> quite tempted to just switch to Fellowship Party, but that's not gonna work. I don't. Reclaim the kingdom of God. N enough of this. I gotta get back into it. Enough of this foolishness. How long did that tangent go on? I have a feeling that I was stuck just talking about random shit for the longest time there. Although I do slightly want to see a Christian state of Israel. I would... Please tell me it's named like the... the the Crusader states or something. Please tell me that the devs... Uh, they, ha they had to have put it in just because those are the ideologies that exist and you need one ideology for every single nation that exists. But just... That, that would be hilarious. I wonder how messed up it would... Like the names, if they just don't even have names. You know, have like... Uh, Christendom China. Christendom Japan. Oh, hey, you have a coat now. Good for you. You lost, you lost your hat. You lost your uh, pipe. You have your hat. You lost your pipe. Belgium is paralyzed after two days of waffle strikes. Wait. After two days, strikes among rose among the country known for its beer and waffles. Good for them. Reports, uh, yeah. Leopold came back after exile in Germany. A population in those in favor of the King Leopold and those against him. The same day, Leopold came back from exile in Germany where he stayed during the Second World War. Okay, did wait? You got conquered by Germany, and then and you, then you stayed in Germany. I mean, okay, but sure. What's this now? Answer the royal question. He's a Christian Democrat. He knows the way. Belgian Congo, you're still under Belgium at least. Bring back King Leopold. Oh, hey, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. Is that like a necessary piece to make the modern day um, Libya? It's, it just seems very odd placement. Further expansion. Or oh, the Blitz. Further expansions, more infrastructure. Ring rays are just even more infrastructure. Why not the civilian economy? Get another civilian factory out now. But we're still, we're building them up fine. Just I want them now. Oh, Republic of China, I knew ye well. Belgium is paralyzed. Oh no, even more waffle strikes. They don't have enough waffles to feed all the people. P uh, King Baldwin. Oh my. Belgian Congo and Trust Territory of Rund... Oh. Burundi Burundi. Uh, yeah, okay. There we go. Republic of China is in Taiwan. Ooh. Hey. 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 Hey, East Turkestan Republic took three states. Are you sure about that? Are you absolutely sure about that? I just like that because I just, I want Turkestan to, I want them to live. I want them, but I guess they can't. I don't know the situation. I don't know if they just side it together. And then there's this area. This weird, weird area. Oh, why am I so tired? 
Is it is it Indian? Is it Chinese? Who knows? But with that, and I am getting very loopy. With that, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!